Oh. Hey guys, it's Paige, and today I'm gonna teach you how to do muzzle flashes and blood effects on iMovie. Alright guys, before I actually show you how to do the effects, we're going to head right on over to where I download them, which would be footagecrate.com, a great place to download royalty-free video and sound effects for your videos, obviously. Just for a little um, representation, here's a video of what they made. Nice little explosion that you can easily do. So we're going to head right on over back to iMovie and I will show you the rest of the steps effects onto iMovie. We're going to go to File, and then Import Movies. Under that, we're going to go to Downloads, because that way, that's where your downloads will be, obviously. Once you find the effect you want, just to make sure it's the one you want, you're going to click on it, press Spacebar, and it'll show you the little clip of the video. If that's what you want, we're going to put that in now. So, import that. Once it's done importing, we shall talk. So, uh, make sure under preferences that uh, your advanced tools is on or else none of this is really going to work. So do that beforehand under iMovie. So anyways, we're going to go to the video we want the gun effect in, which is just me shooting Max. I'm going to trim it to the point that I want. So I didn't want the end because it was just too long. So I trimmed that and I put that in. And then we're going to put the gun effect in to say thingy. So, once we're in there and we scroll through and we find what we want, it's important that you put nothing else but picture in picture after you drop it. It needs to be picture in picture. So watch what I do right here very carefully. Once I find what I want, I click picture in picture and that's going to work. After that, I'm going to skip this because I placed it where I wanted. You can experiment with that and change the color. Here's the next part. How to place audio. So. You're going to download audio from that same website and you're going to place it under iTunes if you have that account. This is just the easiest way to do it. Then we can put that sound wherever we want it. Just drag it simply. You don't have to do any of the picture in picture crap or anything. And then after that, you can finalize the video, import it, and then you're going to have to put, if you need blood effects, you're going to have to do that over. So this process can take hours, but it, yeah. Blah, blah. Alright guys, we are done with this video, and to finish your project in the iMovie, we are going to go under File, Finalize Project, and then you can go under that document and post it on YouTube. Alright, so anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, thanks a lot for clicking, subscribe, and the link in, is in the description for the website, footagecrate.com. Have a good day guys, bye.